Marin, welcome to Swedes at the start of the grass court season. How does the grass suit your game? First of all, thank you. Well, uh, usually I always find it to to find my game really, really uh, getting improved after a couple of weeks on, on grass. So uh, I think it's most important to get few matches, and then once I get my rhythm, I think I, I can uh, I can play well. And in the past, I was playing really well here at the Queens, and uh, always enjoyed it to come back here. What do you need to be a good grass court player? Uh, well, you need to first of all understand how to play on grass. It's a little bit different than all the other surfaces, and we don't have a chance to play on it during the year, so it's a little bit adaptation to it and knowing just when to take your shot, when to wait a little bit more, obviously to, to serve really well and uh, to play smart. I don't think on grass is uh, really important to to hit the ball hard. It's more placement and then a variety with your shots and uh, choosing when you're going to change your speed and uh, when you're going to put it, your opponent in some difficult parts of the court. How difficult is it to make the change from clay to grass? Well, the only difficulty is just the movement. As you, when you come on the grass, you are really careful not to fall down, and then if it happens to you, then uh, you are really in trouble. If you uh, twist your ankle or something, then you are becoming really careful of, uh, of running. So I think just a matter of uh, playing four or five matches uh, and then getting used to it, and then after that, I think it's becoming a little easier. How much did Goran Ivanovic's Wimbledon win inspire your career? Well, it inspired me big time as you know, uh, as a young kid watching him and uh, growing in that uh, time, and he was just uh, almost a national hero at that time. It was you know, big thing for for everybody of us, and especially me as he was playing with me when I was 14 in the times when he was just finishing his career. So it was uh, you know, huge help for me knowing that uh, I have a potential to be good and knowing that uh, his presence with me is you know, meaning a lot. And finally, Croatia playing their first European Championship match tonight. Will you be watching? Of course, we're going to be watching. Uh, we have a tough, uh, tough match playing against Northern Ireland, really important, I think, for both teams. So we're going to be cheering a lot tonight.